This is Keith Watts Team Real Estate and Alicia Viejo. I am running through the Canyon Vista area. This particular track I'm going to do today is Hillsboro. So once again, just kind of going through the different models, floor plans, and a little bit about the community itself. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Canyon Vista is um, an area on the north side of Pacific Park at the top of the hill. And it is a canyon in that um, the north side runs downhill to Canyon Vista Park, which was featured in the last photo. And then the south-facing side runs this way. So it's two hills. You go down and back up. And it's surrounded by uh, the Laguna Wilderness Area, which is a really cool area for mountain biking, for hiking. And uh, it's also really it, – it leads into Laguna Beach Canyon. So it's a great area. Um, there's 103 homes in the community I'm going to do today. It's Timberland – or it's Hillsboro, which is the street of Timberland, Bearbury, Elderwood, sagebrush and clusterberry so it's this street and most of the homes in this hillsborough community go to about here on timberland and then the rest of this so it's a great area it's at the top of the hill a lot of people like it because it makes the walk to the middle school and the elementary school over here on this side of pacific park easy well easier than it would be if you were down here on the lower part of the hill um Great views on the backside of Timberland because of the direction this way, and um, the homes on Elderwood have a nice hill behind them that, uh, you know, have a little more privacy because there's not a home behind you. So 103 total, built between 95 and 99, and uh, great houses. They're all three-car garage configurations, and uh, there's four floor plans. So this is the first floor plan, so why would I have two floor plans? Um, because it's an alternate option, and these have a lot of options. You can see here loft versus bedroom, um, but the main feature on this is whether the alternate is whether or not you have a garage or a bedroom here on this one. So um, it adds, you know, about 125 square feet, so it's about a 10 by 10 room, same as a single bay garage. But those people that need a downstairs bedroom, um, this is perfect because it will turn that third garage bay right here into a bedroom. Um, the other changes are pretty normal, you know, making one bedroom into two bedroom or making a bedroom in a loft, which is essentially just removing a door. But the main features you want to know here is whether or not this is a bedroom. Now, I, I imagine as people get older, and you're going to see it on the next floor plan, as people get older, these downstairs bedrooms become more and more important, maybe even more important than the third car garage. So I think we're going to see people exercising this option. Right now, it's a really small percentage of the homes in the community have done this, but I have a feeling, and a home I recently sold did it, as you know, people get older, people have more of a need for extended families to have this downstairs bedroom or even work from home offices, we're going to see this more and more. So this is a slightly uh, bigger floor plan. Same thing, though. Downstairs bedroom is needed, so you uh, convert the garage into a bedroom. Um, plan three uh, is a little different in that it, it's always a three-car garage, but the difference between the downstairs bedroom having one and not is whether or not you have this super family room. So if you were to pick up this piece here and drop it onto this section, you would see it's either, um, excuse me, on this section here, it's either a kitchen into a family room with a bedroom over here, or it's a super family room. So just remove this wall. And I've, I've seen it both ways. Um, if you were to go into this model and it was a super family room, people always ask, what is it going to take to turn it into a bedroom? The answer is not much. I mean, three of the walls are already there. Your egress is there. Your... Um, your air return vents are here, so it's super easy, maybe like $3,000 maximum. Uh, it wouldn't even be hard to get it permitted because, like I said, the big stuff's already there. Your electrical, your air vents, your egress, you're just talking about putting up drywall and a door. Um, the final plan is uh, this one here, and what you see is what you get. It's a three-car garage. Um, it is a three-bedroom house with an optional den instead of um, a den here instead of one of the bedrooms. So you can just make a, a large, you know, without a, a closet or a door, turn it into a den. So 
this is a, a, another really good floor plan. They're all great. I mean, everyone seems to like this area. And if you are in this area or you're looking at one and you want to get a copy of one of these floor plans, let me know. I'm happy to email you one of them. I can't just post them and give them away because of the rights with them. But I have been told I can give them out to people individually. So uh, reach out. Fill out the form at the bottom and let me know if you would like one of these. If you have any questions, you can also reach out. Have a terrific day. Thanks.